hey guys so in today's video i'm going to show you how to fix roblox crashing on iphone or ipad so if the roblox app is crashing on your phone let me show you different things you can do to fix this issue so the first thing is head over to your app store and you need to check if there's a new update for roblox so most of the time updates can fix crashes and bugs in any application so just check if there's a new update and update the app so if that is not working another thing you can do is head over to your settings scroll down to general click on iphone storage and look for roblox right here so what we are going to do is we are going to force update it and clear the cage so look for roblox right here so let's just search for it so let's search for roblox now select it so you need to offload the roblox application once you offload it this will delete the app but it's still going to keep all your data so offload the app and reinstall it so once you reinstall it this can also fix the issue another thing you can do is the background app refresh so make sure it is enabled right in your settings again click on general and look for background app refresh so if it is not turned on click on background app refresh at the top and make sure it is set to wi-fi and mobile data so now go back and look for roblox right there make sure it is enabled for roblox so it is still not installed so just turn on background app refresh for roblox this can also fix the issue another thing you can do is to update the software of your iphone or your ipad so there are some times that if you are using the old version of the software it can affect the apps on your iphone or your ipad so go to general once again click on software update and update your iphone or your ipad so another thing you can do is to first restart your phone so sometimes when you have not turned off your phone for a while this can cause different apps to start misbehaving so you'll be very surprised that just turning off your iphone and turning it on back can fix this issue so you can just go to your control center click on this power button just long click on it and turn off your phone or long click on the volume more button and power button power off your phone and power it on very easy and make sure you have enough storage on your iphone sometimes if you are low on storage this can cause your apps to start misbehaving so just delete some things that you're no longer using to have more storage thanks for watching